Hello everybody, welcome to the sound test room. Okay, so what we're gonna do today is something from scratch and it's something quite complex and, and big. So what I'm gonna try and do is, this was a suggestion someone said, uh, a friend of ours, Nathan, hello Nathan, uh, suggested that when, I've done a couple of videos in the past using AUM and, and, and several apps running and doing sort of a jammy type of soundscapey type thing, or just a jam of with drums and stuff. And he said it'd be nice to show people how to actually record that uh, into something into something else. Well, what I'm going to do, right? Okay, I'm going to I'm going to so and I, I honestly, guys, I, I have no idea if this is going to work. And I'm going to post a video anyway, whether it works or not. And I'm going to show you all the all because I've never set anything like this up and it go completely smoothly. First thing, so it always there's always problems. Okay, so I'm going to just let the video run and you can see the problems and you can see if I can overcome them. But here's the plan. Right, I'm going to use a uh, fugue machine, drum jam, gadget. I'm going to have them all running in audio bus and I'm going to use audio bus remote. I'm also going to have them mixed in AUN and I'm going to have all the channels sent separately to Cubasis to record. And then I'm going to record. So I'm going to see if this works. So I'm, there's nothing, as you can see, on the iPad already. So I thought I'll just do it from scratch and see what happens. Now, I, I practice with a few different variations of apps and stuff like that. And it all works eventually. But, you know, some things, Link is is weird on some apps and it doesn't it works on some but doesn't trigger on others and, and things like that and anyway so i'm using link as well to to tie everything together so don't know if this is going to work so the actual ipad volume at the moment is staying quite low because we don't want to well i'll mix it up when it gets going so first of all i'm going to start with audio bus and then um what shall i put in first so let me find I think I'll put uh, I'll, I'll, I'll put gadget in first. Korg gadget. So this is this is quite fun. You get to see how all this works. Now this I did that little drum pattern there is I did program earlier, but I've, like I said, I've not messed around with anything like this, so there's no setup here. Um, next we'll go with uh, fugue. Now the other thing is, well, some people say that. Um, you know, launch the apps first or launch the apps from Cubase. So I'm just, uh, you know, it's it's all a bit of a messy round thing, isn't it? There's no kind of hard and fast rule with iOS. It's it all it sounds great, but it all gets a bit, you know, complex as well. So here we go, and we'll do drum jam now. Drum jam. I'm sure this video won't interest a lot of people. Right. So here we go. Drum jam. Drum jam. When it loads. So Drum Jam's just been updated as well. It has this new kit down here. I think I've got it. This contraption kit. So anyway, we know that. Okay, we've got we've got audio coming through, and I'm guessing. Just let me check with gadget. So the tempo should be about 120. Yeah, because it's all link enabled now. You can see that. Uh, that'll do now let's go back to audio bus i know fugue machine will work because fugue machine is just it just it's just solid top job now <laughs> okay so the, the the thing is here we can go to now audio bus remote inside the ipad which is ideal and i'm guessing we can just started all off perfect now you know you can go into the apps and control the volume and stuff like that but i wanted to be able to control control it mix it sort of thing and aum is ideal for this but then i'm thinking what if i put aum in there i, I want cubases in the output because i want to record anyway no it's easy peasy anyway guys look anyway so let's go back to a uh, thing here and let's here Let's put AUM in. Now, this is the brilliant thing. You don't have to root nothing. Just hit AUM in the mixer slot. Let's launch it. When it launches, launch in a minute. There you go. And there you go. It's already done for you. You've got drum jam, um, gadget, and uh, fugue machine. Fantastic. 
So now, like, if we hit this here and we want into Apple Audio and Audio Bus output there, that's what we've got, right? But we can see that there, we've got Audio Bus in on, on all three of these. But we want our output going somewhere else. So the easiest way I found to do this, right, was hit this, open this, go to Into App Audio, find Cubasis, the one that says Generator, and just hit that, okay? And it'll load Cubasis and it'll open it. Okay. And there it is. Now, what we're going to do here is create new project and call it AU um, uh, Mixer Test. Done. And there it is. Let's get rid of that now. Right. If I go back to, let's see, if I go back here now and I have Cubases here and I go this. You see, there's nothing, nothing, nothing there. So I'm thinking, well, I can't, why can't I? I want to root it to Cubase. I want to root it. Anyway, this is what happens. This is what, this is the, this is the easiest way to do. You create an audio track, okay? Routing. Hit the input. Hit into app. Scroll down, scroll down. And then you will come to your... Chromatica AUM out, you know, your, 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 for your, your inputs in there, like, so I want to go to this port one. Okay. And then I'm going to go back to Cubasis and I'm going to create another audio track. All right. I'm going to enter app. I'm going to go. See how this gets a little bit boring, doesn't it, guys? But you know, port two. And then we're going to go back there. And we're going to go another audio track. Now, there's some geniuses out there with iOS who are going to know how to do this like dead easy and probably like got a, like a loads quicker way of doing it. This is how I'm doing it. I mean, I don't usually record like this. You know, I'm like a old school. I like to record tracks in the normal way. I don't kind of do it like this. But this is if you're doing a live jam, this is a brilliant, brilliant way to do a live a live mix over your different tracks. Anyway, let's get on with it. So we've got our three audio tracks there, and I'm going to route my third one to... Now, you can't go wrong here because you can see the first two are used up. We're going to route that to port three. Now, still, still, the thing would be is if I was to... Uh, let's just use the audio bus uh, trigger. Nothing. is something this is we start to encounter problems straight away because drum jams decided to switch itself off i don't know why i didn't switch it off doesn't matter let's switch it back on okay next and yeah we're back in so don't despair we're 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 we're, 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 we're getting there now let me just check again. Let me just start all this. Now, again, you notice that um, things aren't working. So I'm going to go to Gadget because I think I need to set that on loop. Right, okay. Go back again. Let's go do this again. Um see this is this is brilliant this is good for you guys <laughs> because it shows that you will get you will get problems let's try link again right so now why isn't fugue working see this if this is the kind of thing that really winds me up right okay
everything is working again. But you see, it's a pain, isn't it? Anyway, I'm sure these things will be ironed out in years to come. Um, let's go, right, so back to what we're trying to do. So anyway, now that I have set up, if we remember in Cubase, Cubasis, uh, I've set up my three channels now for Chromatica ports one, two, and three. Uh, let's go back there. Okay, let's just connect back over there. What I can do now, as you will see, if we choose the outputs now, you can see that because we've created them, let's get them out of the way, we've created them in AudioBus. They are now available for us to route to AudioBus. So output one there, and output two there, and output three there. Now, normally, if I'd be doing a video like this, I'd have all this set up ready. And you'd be thinking, oh, that's easy peasy. But you see, you do encounter problems and it is perseverance. And it is a lot of practice and a lot of messing around with the different things. Like I said, there are people who are geniuses at this now. Because I very rarely work in this way. So anyway, God, let's see. Let's see what we've got going now. I wonder, I wonder. Let me see. Oh. So... Everything is working, and because we have a main route it rooted straight in there, we can control the overall volume. New contraption kit. I get ahead of myself, hang on. So what we're going to do now is, I'm guessing that, I think it's all set at about one tray, I'm guessing the default in audio. Anyway, we don't really need the counting in Cubasis, but it's going to be there to start the recording off. Now, these are global starts, so as soon as I hit record for this, it's going to hit record for that. I'm not sure if I can disable that and just hit record, but it doesn't matter. I don't think you can, but anyway, this is what we're going to do. We're going to hit record on Cubasis, then we're going to record a bit of the jam to see if it's actually worked. And hopefully it'll just stop now. So it's recording. And of course I could add effects.
Got the little bit of gain. Yes, lads. So we can stop recording Cubases from here, hit that, and then we can stop the actual mix, rewind to the beginning inside Cubases. But let's just go and see if everything's worked out as planned. Okay. So it was a bit hot in places because I didn't really check the levels. Um, cool. Don't worry, we're not going to play all this again. And then, of course, now you go, oh, yeah, too, 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 too hot there, too hot there. Um See, now what we can do is we can just check it's all worked out, okay? So. so it would have been, I should have really, here we 
go with the fade. And then of course we can add more effects, blah blah blah, do everything else. Anyway guys, that's, that's pretty much uh, how to set it up, or how I set it up. I don't know. Uh, you know, probably better ways. That, there are other ways. I mean, I don't need to use Audio Bus, but then I don't get control over Audio Bus Remote. So it's nice to put Audio Bus in there anyway. Um, but I can do it without Audio Bus and have it just inside AUM. You can do it like that. And it's nice, you know, because you can have all this stuff in AUM. It's a lovely mix and there's tons of effects. It's tons. You can go mad. You can go totally loon. You can, you can just absolutely go nuts with this kind of thing in them. You, you know, you can always add uh, more effects. You know, you don't. You're not limited or stuck in uh, just one sort of thing. You can actually do loads and loads. Anyway, guys, hope you've enjoyed this. There it is. Don't even know what to call this. No idea. Um, but yeah, hope you enjoyed. It anyway, all right, guys. Uh, yeah, great. If you liked it, like the video, subscribe to the channel, visit us at thesoundtestroom.com. Um, where me, Colin, Jacob and John are trying to help you out with whatever we can. And uh, generally, guys, have a good day. See you later. <laughs>